Well, everyone, the Nova Launcher is one of the coolest applications out there. It basically allows you to go ahead and change up the stock home screen and home launcher that you have on your particular device. Now, changing this out is very basic and it really doesn't take too much time, but to install it, you wanna go ahead and basically install this application. And once you install it, to change your home screen, all you have to do is go and click open and you'll basically come into your standard home screen. Now, when you first log into it, it'll allow you to, you know, kind of, you know, change out a few things. So for one, you get to change out your theme. You can either change it to light mode or dark theme, whichever one you want. Then you can go and choose the specific, you know, dark theme color that you want to choose to, if you want to kind of configure it a little bit more. Scrolling down a little bit more, you can change how your icons look. So if you want to, you can go ahead and basically see, in this case, these are the stock icons that we have right now. And then what you can also do is go and change your icon size if you want them bigger or smaller. For now, we'll take them as. And you can also follow the system. Typically, I just keep follow system when I'm first setting it up. And then you can scroll down, you can change your search window, search engine, so many other things. In this case, I like talking, taking off you know, DuckDuckGo and putting in the cool sort or Google search. And then you can show how you want your desktop search bar to kind of be seen. I do like the Google icon there, but you can choose this one or whichever one you want. Again, you can change it whichever way you want to. And then you have additional actions and you can change these out whatever you want. Now, whenever you're ready, you can click on the check mark to come into your home screen. Now, when you first do it, as you can see, I'm not even in the right home screen. What I want to do is click open, and then you want to come into your Nova Launcher home screen. So this is typical like any other Google or any other like, you know, home you know launcher that you have. So typically when you scroll through the pages, you'll have the standard home screen. If you swipe up, you'll come into your Apple, you know, library. So you will see all the applications that you have inside of your application library. Then you also have that little search bar up there if you want to search a little bit further. You can even jump straight into the Play Store if you really want to. Now, swiping back down, a big thing you may want to do is jump straight into your particular Nova settings. So on the top right, you'll see your Nova settings. If you want to move around a specific icon, you can always hold it down and change it throughout the whole entire landscape. Now, tapping on that Nova launcher you know, settings, you'll come to this page. There are tons and tons of, tons of settings that you can kind of change from. So for one, if we come back into our home screen, you can change your desktop grid, which is basically how many you know, apps you can have inside of the, you know, the whole entire thing, your icon layout, your dock, again, your widget size, so many things across the board here too that you can kind of go through. Swapping back out, you have your app drawer. So here you can change your application drawer style, whether you want it vertical, list, or horizontal. Typically, I like mine you know, vertical because that is the way most Android launchers have it. You have your app grid here, which I you know, use the same 5x5 as I do in the home screen. Your icon layout, background, color, and then a lot of other things. Now, at the bottom, sometimes you may see like Prime or like Restore. Restore just means if you previously purchased something, you can restore it. But if you have Prime, that means Nova Launcher Prime is the paid option, but you don't really need it. The you know, free one is actually very good as well. You have folders and search, just some very basic stuff if you want to change it, which we already changed in the beginning. Your look and feel, this is another really cool thing. This is where I used to like to spend a lot of time to change my icon style. So you can download and install different themes and app icons from your home screen. So if you click on icon theme, there are lots of different paid and free app icons that you can download. So you can always go through here and find a specific app icon that you like and install it. Then you can reinstall it with the Nova Launcher and bring it up here. There's also free ones online that you can also download. You have your icon shapes you can change up. You have a lot of other things across the board here too. Swiping back out, you have your show undo bar, uh, drop targets, and then right at the bottom, you have your show notification bar, which I have right here. You have your transparent notification bar, which again, you can have at the very top, which is right up here. But if you turn it off, you can just disable it, but I typically keep it on because I like it. You have your transparent navigation bar there too, if you want to. And then you have your dark icons, which you can turn on or off. Now, swiping back out here, you have your gestures and inputs, integrations, and you have your backup you know, and restore. Now, if you want to set this as your default launcher, which is as soon as you come into the home screen, you want to click here and you want to have it rather than your you know, actual system launcher that you're using. If you click on Nova 7, this will make it every time you come into your home screen, it'll come here. So for example, if I'm in Google Chrome and I swipe back up, it'll take me back into my standard home screen. Now, if you want to, you can always change that by coming back into your look and feel option. Now, you can always change that if you come back into here. And if you come into set default launcher, you can always change it back to your other one as well. So that is another option that you kind of have there too. Now, if I go back into Nova Launcher, which is right here, another thing you can do is always hold down on your app, you know, your home screen. Now, when you do that, you'll see other different pages that you can add if you want to add a home screen here. You can jump into wallpapers right here if you want to quickly change your wallpapers, and then you can jump straight into your home screen settings right here too, which we just did. Now, swiping back out, if we hold down one more time, we'll come back into here. Now, at the bottom, you'll have things like the Nova 7. So these are, you know, different types of Nova, you know, Nova home screen type of, 
widgets that you have. So you can always go through here and choose a different type of home screen widget that you want. You also have your different application widgets that you have within your whole entire you know, screen as well. So you can always go through here and choose different types of things that you want across the board. So that's another thing. You can change different clock widgets that are system. And there's a lot of other widgets here across the board, but if you ever want to drag and drop one, you can always just you know grab one just like so. So I'll just grab like this one and always grab it and drop it somewhere else. And then from here, I can have this Nova action as another type of action if I want to open up Nova search, toggle dock, default page, jump to page. There's a lot of other options here too. But at a high level, that's kind of how you use your Nova launcher. It's pretty basic, but there's a lot of customizing you can do. It's a super cool application. I'd recommend every single person who has an Android to at least try it out and see if you like it. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.